I've read a few studies about how the more times your brain goes through withdrawal, the worse it gets the next time. This is called kindling. Alcohol is toxic to the brain and body. And this toxicity has an impact on our cognitive abilities. Episode 162 is all about what to expect cognitively in early sobriety, so please check that one out. But cognitive impairments prevent us from thinking clearly about our drinking and seeing it for what it is. And this is one reason why the consequences don't have much of an impact on us until they get severe. We can't use our brains properly while we're drinking. Withdrawal is very stressful on the brain. And think about what's going on for a moment. Your brain gets a shock because it has adapted to function with alcohol present. Your brain chemistry has been adjusted to compensate for the effects of alcohol and having alcohol present is normal. Now all of a sudden you remove alcohol, which your brain believes is required for proper functioning. This puts a lot of stress on the brain as it sends this puts a lot of stress on the brain as it both sends you cravings to get alcohol so balance can be restored and when you continue not to drink, your brain has to adjust again and learn how to find balance without alcohol. Then you relapse and you start drinking again, so your brain has to adapt back and then you take away alcohol again, putting stress on your brain. Each time you detox, it gets harder for your brain. And this doesn't mean if you've quit a bunch of times but keep going back that it's useless and you shouldn't bother. It just means this is one reason why it may be difficult for you to stay stopped. A 2009 study published in Alcohol looked at the difference in cognitive abilities between patients with less than two detoxes compared to patients with two or more detoxes. And they found that patients with more detoxes had less cognitive improvements in early sobriety and they struggled to control their impulses more. So the conclusion was that multiple detoxes may be impacting the plasticity of the brain. I spoke about neuroplasticity in episode 99. It's the ability for the brain to adapt and change based on your current situation. So multiple detoxes may make the brain more resistant to change. This doesn't mean that it's impossible, it just means if you've had a lot of detoxes, then you need more support to get sober. Another study found reduced plasticity in the amygdala and hippocampus from repeated detoxes. The amygdala is responsible for anxiety and our fight or flight response. It plays a big role in our urgency to escape when we feel overwhelmed. And I spoke about the amygdala hijack in episode 106, if you want to learn more about that. Reduced plasticity in the amygdala can make it harder for you to learn to cope. And the hippocampus is responsible for learning and memory, which are important in sobriety because we need to understand that our drinking will never change and it won't be different this time. A 2010 study published in Alcohol and Alcoholism looked at 48 patients with two or more detoxes versus patients with one detox and found that there wasn't a huge difference in cognitive improvements in the first three months after detox, but the group with less detoxes had much more improvement between three to six months post-detox. So the group with more detoxes lagged behind and didn't have as many improvements. So what this means to me is the more detoxes that you have, the slower your recovery will be. And the slower your recovery is, then the easier it becomes to relapse because it's taking you longer to have mental clarity and make connections about the cause and effect of your drinking. They also found that age played a role. So people who were older with more detoxes had slower cognitive recovery. I think it's interesting that the most noticeable delays were between three to six months because based on my experience talking to my community members, that's a main time that they struggle. Obviously, the first month is hard for everybody because you're new, you don't have coping skills yet, and early sobriety just doesn't feel very good. But I've seen a lot of people fall off in the three to six month mark 
We need to be able to utilize our full brain power to stay sober. And if your recovery is slower because of your age or because of the number of detoxes that you've put your brain through, then it makes it easier to go back to drinking. So again, this does not mean that you're doomed and you should just give up and drink forever. It means getting sober may be more difficult for you and you need support. If you've gone through multiple detoxes and your drinking just keeps regressing, then you need to do more to stay sober. Don't keep trying the same thing over and over again when it's not working. Go to meetings, work with a sponsor, go to therapy, get a coach, join a program. There are so many options. If you like my approach, then I would love to support you in my community. We have lots of small meetings, and I'm also beginning to run even smaller group coaching programs. So info for everything is on my website. Just keep trying and add more forms of support. Your resistance to getting support is allowing your drinking to progress. So keep going. Look into different ways that you can get support today. And I will talk to you next week.